Hey guys, welcome back to another video. This is episode 2 of the Mongolia Let's Play. Here we'll be trying to reform the Mongol Empire to the best extent we can. Yesterday I really just started some things up, some research, some production and uh, that's gone pretty well. Anyway, um, seems like the Soviet Union is active, first of all. Xinjiang seems active, so does Tibet, India and even Japan. Uh, so uh, this is a, looks like a very active round. That could be pretty bad depending on a few things, but uh, yeah, Japan could be a problem, however they have a small army, uh, which we could take out, if we really wanted to, we could invade them already and take them out of mainland China. That would make them, uh, well, insignificantly weak. The only possible thing they could do is bomb our ports and our units from here, but that's really nothing. Still, they could pose a threat over time. And they really wouldn't be worth it. I'm gonna let them uh, invade Communist China. That's gonna weaken their military since Communist China is pretty damn strong. We're gonna prepare a defense for the Japanese front uh, while we are invading the Chinese. Now we won't invade the Chinese today, we are still producing and I set up a lot of queued up uh, units. Let's queue up even more uh, so we can actually get as many as we can out there until the next episode so uh, I can actually invade China. And uh, we're gonna invade China tomorrow, that's the plan at least. So there you go, all are queued up, and uh, we're gonna be invading China with those units. You should have enough resources too, so that's great. Research-wise, though, well, we might want to move on to level 2 motorized, let's go ahead and do that. We already have level 2 barracks, so that's no problem. And level 2 medium stew, because why not? We're gonna want some uh, better industry, I'm gonna invest in Altai, it's industry, because we're gonna need more metal. And the uh, same with uh, Bayan Kongor, uh, so industry here, and let's do the same with uh, food. Gonna need all of these. So there we go, that's uh, gonna be a worthwhile investment in the long term. So we're gonna leave Japan doing its thing, we're gonna set up a defense here. Uh, Manchuko might go inactive soon, if they do we're gonna put the uh, units that we have on the Manchurian front or the Japanese front, so we have more of a defense. Japan says reform, Imperial Japan shall treat every Asian people with respect and equality. We will also bring in better change for the Chinese people and arrest those who try to hurt them. We have the Japanese Empire to be moral superior but respectful to other people's culture and traditions. Long live Japan, so this might mean they want to invade China. I guess we'll still see. In the case they do, well, we could just invade Japan while they are invading China. That should work out, their doctrine is purely light uh, units, that, so we should be able to just really smash the shit out of them with our units. I guess we're gonna see how that's gonna work out though. Uh, yeah, Sinkang is active, they're trying to ally us, I'm gonna say uh, that could be a possibility. And, uh, well, I'm not really gonna care about any of these ones, not yet, hopefully the Soviet Union doesn't do much. Uh, yeah, very active round it seems. Yeah, damn, that's uh, very interesting. Brazil is active, Venezuela is active, great. Might be an interesting round, but a bit too active in Asia for a Mongolia, more for a Mongol Empire, but I think I should still be able to do this very well. We're producing uh, quite a lot now. We're gonna use the units we have here uh, to invade China, hopefully tomorrow. We're gonna start the invasion if Japan starts before. I will probably start, still start invading China, but we'll prepare a front for Japan too, as a... Uh, that might be needed, as you could imagine. Still, the Japanese army is <laughs> very weak usually, and is unable to actually fight even a weaker country that has a better doctrine and uh, actually focuses on their army, which we will do. Transport sells this, some messages, some research, some production, and there we go. So yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, so we're investing in industry, we're building an army, building a lot. Uh, these units are gonna stay in place. Uh, I'm not sure about Xinjiang or Manchukuo or Tibet even, I hope they'll go inactive still. Xinjiang might not same with Tibet, I hope they will because, you know, that's another pain in the ass to, to deal with, other than Japan and China. But yeah, I guess I'll still see how it goes. And we will be invading China tomorrow, we'll get units until then, and yeah. I think that should go pretty well, hopefully Japan doesn't invade China uh, by the next episode. Anyway. I think that's gonna be just about it for this episode, I mean you're producing, you're doing everything, you're building some industry, getting an army ready and uh, sort of preparing to invade China, just we don't have the units. What we might wanna do is uh, 
prepare a rally point so once these troops will be uh, produced we'll get them to the Chinese front that might be worth it so we have uh, four provinces bordering them uh, we have three they have three with us so I'm gonna keep this here I'm gonna focus on these three provinces or actually uh, I think two might be enough yeah these two provinces will be attacking three of course from these two still not sure if that's the best idea but I think it's gonna work out so we we'll want a bigger force over here, I don't think that's really gonna matter, so I'm gonna prepare this Baruch city can uh, rally their units over here. All of its production will go to the to this front, that will go to Goldmund and then uh, encircle this, encircle, go around this basically, around the city base on my area. Uh, then we have two medium tanks and uh, two barracks, two uh, motorized infantry production centers, which one of each will be used to go over here there we go that's uh, this province and we're gonna take the other province which is this one the other cities and we'll go to the, here with the other two there we go so uh, yeah that's about it we're gonna have a good amount of units I think a couple of tanks at least I think like six uh, units on each of these provinces and like uh, three or something on this one uh, that's gonna be like uh, 15 units for the invasion but those are pretty damn good units and I think they should definitely do the job with the reinforcements I will probably send a bit to the front of Japan and the other will go to China however what we will send should already be enough to take out China I guess I'll still see how that goes though level 1 motorized uh, infantry is usually strong enough to actually take out a lot of stuff you know like yeah that's no tiny damage they're gonna be having mostly militias level 1 which are 2.3 so I think one one motorized infantry should be able to take out at least two militias at least I think so and those medium tanks should be able to do even more to be honest anyway that's gonna be it for this video I hope you guys enjoyed you can like subscribe comment I will reply at least probably if you if your comment is good I will reply anyway that's it for this video we did pretty damn well I'm invading China tomorrow and uh, unless shit gets out of hand of course and yeah I'll see you guys tomorrow see you then